This tutorial about the diagnostic tool of the ESCOM Studio shows the recommended procedure to identify problems that occur during commissioning and in case of errors during operation. As a starting point, we assume that the startup procedure has been accomplished and that you have a motor and a power supply connected to the ESCOM device. As an example, we use a brushless EC motor with interchanged hall sensor cable connection. There are four different possibilities to start the diagnostic tool. Select one by double-clicking. The diagnostic tool analyzes the following system components. The ESCON server controller, the motor, the hall sensors needed for brushless commutation and the speed sensor. What errors can be detected? Missing or wrongly wired electrical connections, defective components and wrong sensor parameter settings. All the necessary test runs are determined automatically. Press Next. The actual system configuration is displayed. Select Yes if there is a gearhead mounted on the motor and fill in the parameters. Our system, however, does not have a gearhead. Press Next. Please note, the mechanical system must be able to move freely. The status of the test run is indicated permanently. Press Start Tests. The test starts and the status is indicated as running. First, the electrical motor connections are tested. In case the cables or the motor windings were broken, the test would indicate an error. In our example, however, the motor is connected correctly. Observe the motor shaft movement and report the direction of rotation. With this test sequence, wrongly connected motor lines could be detected, for example. Press OK. In order to verify the number of pole pairs, the system will attempt to perform a 360 degree rotation. Apply a mark on the actual shaft position. This helps to determine the rotation angle once the movement is completed. Press OK to execute this test sequence. Observe the motor shaft motion and report the traveled angle of rotation. A wrong setting of number of pole pairs would be indicated. Press OK. The test runs of the motor have successfully been performed. Next, the hall sensor test starts automatically. The test sequence detects an error. The status indication changes to failed. The following possible fault reason is shown. Hall sensor wires 2 and 3 interchanged. Choose your course of action. Swap the wires of hall sensors 2 and 3. Press resume test after you have fixed the fault. The hall sensor tests will be performed again. All tests have been finished successfully and are marked as OK. The status indication is passed. Press close. Eskin and motor are connected correctly and ready to use. 